let's take a step back. My sister and I are super competitive. We even compete with each other about who saves the most water in Cape Town's drought at the moment. Well, I wipe my plates to avoid too much washing. Well, I spread my fruit with lemon water to clean it. Way less water than running it under a tap. Well, I only wash my hair every 12 days. What? Then one day, she challenged me and said, Do you know how to make a rosemary g and tea? Yes, obviously. But the catch is you need to make it with herbs that use as little water as possible. I thought, competition on. I must find out how to do this. So I rushed to Builders to grab everything I need. Builders has absolutely everything. I'm going to show her. Okay, so how did you make it? Container one and two. Spray a thin layer of white over the entire thing. Allow to dry. Mask two strips and now spray a nice strip of black chalkboard paint. Mask two strips and spray with copper, allow to dry. Remove masking tape and voila, container one, done. Container two, use the holes, thread string through them and tie a knot on the other side. Place soil in the center, pull the string through the soil, top with more soil and plant your dry friendly plants. Place gray water into container one, place container two, into container one and voila, water saving herb garden. With my drought friendly herbs, of course, I made a rosemary and granadilla syrup with sugar, rosemary, granadilla juice and water. All you do is bring that to the boil and then cook until the sugar has dissolved. Set it aside and then let the rosemary infuse into the liquid. And then all you're gonna do to serve it is pop it in a glass with some ice, some more granadilla puree, some lime wedges, fresh rosemary sprigs, and then some of that delicious syrup you just made and then top it with gin and tonic. Fine, you win. Oh no, wait, I could have just shopped everything online. I'm here. Against who has does that make sense? <laughs> the movie voice again. <laughs> then one day she challenged me and said, <laughs> Okay.